And we have a pretty nice day lined up, although it's a bit on the cooler side. We have lots of blue skies and sunshine across the region. This is a live look outside right now, not even seeing a single cloud. As far as temperatures go, we are still a little on the cooler side of things. Parts of southern Illinois still stuck somewhere into those 50s. We've got Nashville and Mount Vernon in the mid 50s, along with Benton a bit warmer over Anna at 58. SEMO a little bit warmer than that, already hitting the 60 degree threshold, even getting a bit higher than that. Sykeston, Poplar Bluff at 63. Western Kentucky City somewhere in between Mayfield in those lower 60s. Benton right at 60. So really not a bad start to our day. We'll continue continue to warm up into the afternoon and evening. The other nice thing about today is we're finally getting a break from the winds. It's more of a breeze this afternoon, so along with that sunshine, it should make for a really nice day, although still unseasonably cool. So threat tracker is fairly low for those reasons. By tomorrow, we see the clouds begin to move in. We're also warming up a bit, but then by Friday, that unsettled pattern returns as we're tracking that return of rain to the region, maybe even a storm or two possible. Still seeing that pretty steady breeze out of the northwest. Temperatures this evening climbing up close to 70 for a lot of us. Poplar Bluff even hitting above that. Overnight tonight, we'll dip back down into the 40s. Those winds really calm down as you're out the door tomorrow morning. A bit on the chillier side, we have upper 40s for Carmine, Carbondale, and Harrisburg. And then by tomorrow evening, even warmer. So we're still on that steady incline. We'll see the mid 70s by tomorrow evening. Do you have any of, the, any of those plans? But there are the clouds as they move back in. That chance of rain coming along right behind the clouds. So uh, early into Friday, we see the rain chance return. It really picks up. So unfortunately for your morning commute on Friday, probably meeting with a lot of that rain and then also the cooler temperatures. So dry today and still dry tomorrow for the most part. Seeing the widespread rain return for Friday and that isolated chance staying with us Saturday and Sunday. Really seeing those higher rain totals over parts of SEMO into western Kentucky and Tennessee, maybe even seeing over an inch. More so on the lighter side for parts of Illinois from Mount Vernon to Carbondale, but still great to have the storm track three app. I know a lot of local events this weekend, so stay up to date with that radar. Good news, something we haven't seen in quite some time. If you miss the warmer weather, our six to 10 day temperature outlook is trending very warm. So seeing the return of 80s, something we haven't seen in quite some time. We still have some cooler days before we can get there, though. We have the 60s for today's highs and then back to the 70s for Thursday. Still down into the 60s for Friday, and then we really warm back up by the weekend. We have 70s for Saturday, and then finally seeing those 80s again. I know a lot of people have missed that to start the next work week and even to end the weekend, but it comes with a lot of rain chances. Hey, well, at least the weekend it's isolated showers, yeah. so you know, it could be hit or miss for people who mm -hmm. do have events. So. Yeah, no need to cancel plans. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Katie. Thanks.